Okay, Bismillah. Okay, folks, welcome back. We're having another look at these papers. Numerical reasoning, short test one with my class here. Hopefully, we should get better results this time compared to what they got originally. I do have the original results, but we can compare them. So let's move on to the question number one. Question number one. Okay, what does it look like? Give me one moment. Where's my mouse? Mouse in the house. Okay, right. Is that question number one, folks? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to do the working on this. I want everybody to follow me on the screen, please. No, I don't want anybody shouting and screaming. I know it's a holiday time, but that doesn't mean, uh, you know, we're going to crazy mode. All right, can we all see that question, yeah? Yeah. All right, so question one. Jack and Dean, Dean choose a DVD movie to watch. The movie lasts for two hours and 20 minutes. What is this expressed as a mixed fraction? Well, I don't want anybody to answer at the moment. I'm just going to go through the solution. So we have two minutes, so two hours, and 20 minutes. If you haven't done this question yet, start filling it in. So it's two hours and 20 minutes. Now remember, 20 minutes is 20 out of how many, how many minutes do you have in an hour? 60. So it's really two hours and 20 sixtieth of an hour. That's, that's the fraction of an hour. Okay, it's 20 out of 60 now. If I was to rewrite that over here, it'd be 2 and 20 over 60. Now, what we need to do now, where possible in fractions, we need to simplify the fraction. So, Moise, give me the idea of how we simplify. What do we look for and how do we do it, Moise? Um, the highest common factor. Okay, so we're looking for the highest common factor. So, for, uh, so 20 and 60, what will they both divide by? 20 and 60 will both divide by? 20. 20 is the highest common factor. Ten, yes, they will divide by 10, yes. So if you want to do by the highest common factor, they'll divide by 20. So 20 divided by 20 is? 1. And 60 divided by 20 is? 3. three. That's this part of the question. So all together, we'll copy the 2 down. We'll copy down the third. So that's the answer that goes here. So, and then we'll just quickly copy that down. Well, I've written over here, you should have that down here. As I'm writing it down, folks, if you haven't understood it, copy it down in the space, okay? Smile, are you happy with that? At least, but did you get that? Question right. If you got it right, but still make sure you're sure you're working out. So I'm going to fill in here now. So the answer is two and one third of an hour. It's important that you always simplify a fraction to this, to the simplest form, yeah? Don't leave a fraction on something. Bilal, did we get that right? Yeah. You're happy with that question, yeah? Is that an explanation? Okay. Let's copy that now, man. But in the future, I'm not doing it. Do you have something? Let's copy that. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the next question. I'm going to quickly copy up and catch up, please. We're looking at question B. The DVD had one hour and 15 minutes of special features. So now you have to do the same again. So, one hour and 50 minutes. Now, 50 minutes is out of how many minutes? 60. 60. So that, now we're expressing 50 minutes as a fraction of an hour. Now, now we can do what Maurice said earlier. We can now simplify by dividing by the highest common factor, which is ten. in this case, which is ten. And ten. So the final final answer here it is one hour and six of an hour. hour. Okay. So one hour and fifty over sixty minutes, and then cancel it down by dividing. That's it. And that's good. Let's keep up. That's it. I don't want to leave you behind. Okay, so we have here now one hour and five six of an hour. This part of math is called simplifying fractions. Okay, next it says what is the total running time of the movie and special features? Now you could add, I've seen some of you in a walk run, you could add these two fractions. Okay, if you know how to add fractional lessons, yeah. or we could just simply add this time and yeah, and then be careful with the answer. Let's have a look at that. I'm, I'm going to add these two up. Okay, Alan? I'm going to add these two up for question part C. So let's change color now. Let's go for a black. So I've got two hours and 20 minutes. Oops. Minutes. Okay, now that doesn't look too nice. Okay. Uh, yes. And the other one is one hour and 
50 minutes. Now, when we add this now, I want everybody just to pay attention, please. Now, 20 minutes at 50 minutes will give us 70. Just follow me for the moment. Two hours at one hour will give you three hours. But when you look at the answer, the answer is not sensible. You can't have an answer three hours, 70. So we need to adjust it. So what we do here, we, we minus 60 minutes from the 70 minutes. And we add an hour onto there. So, so that will give us a final answer of? 4 hours and 10 minutes. 4 hours and 10 minutes. And then it says the answering minutes, so you have to convert that into Okay, minutes. 4 hours and 10 minutes. So now you want to answer all of it in minutes. Okay. So now, if you want to change hours into minutes, uh, Mr. Ismail, how do we change our hours into minutes? We time by? 60. 60. Oh no, we have 60 minutes in an hour. So 4 times by 60 will give us? Plus the additional 10 minutes that we have over here. 250 minutes. Huh? Again, yeah. Yeah, 250 minutes. Is that 290? No, it's not 290, it's 250. Because 4 hours and 10 minutes. I'm happy that it's a uh, blog. Did you get that right? Yeah? So you could do any technique you like. You could do uh, the hours and minutes technique or the fraction technique. That's up to you. Yes, so give me a moment. Uh, 251. How about the one where you change the um, 2 hours and 20 minutes and 1 hour 50 minutes into a minute? Minutes first. And then you add of course, that. yeah, you can do that as well. Change everything into minutes first and then animal. That's another, probably even easier way. Okay, we're happy with that so far. Okay, in an hour we have 60 minutes, in 4 hours we have 240 minutes plus 10 minutes, you do 250. Next, it goes, what percentage of the DVD's total running time is special features? Now, what do we know? We know that there's 250 minutes altogether. How many were special features? Where's special features gone? Special feature was what? One hour and, one hour and 50 minutes. Now, so you have one hour and 50 minutes. Now, if I want to change them to minutes, okay, Alishpa, how would I change them to minutes? One hour and 50 minutes, Alishpa? We do six. 60, mm -hmm. add 50, which will give us? 110 minutes. That's how many minutes are special features. Now, how many minutes do we do we have in the total together? And how do we know that, Bilal? Because we've just we just worked it out over here. Here it is, two fifty. So now what we're going to do, uh, Mr. Moyes, we're going to do uh, one hundred and ten divided by two hundred and. Now that's expressing as a fraction two hundred fifty. If you want to change this fraction and them into a percentage, what do we do? To change any fraction into a percentage, we multiply by 100. Well done, folks. We multiply by 100. So that's the calculation that you need to have. Okay? So 110 over 250 times by 100. So this calculation, and you need to have that on your paper somewhere. Bad I'm sure you have to do that now. Yeah, got the real line down? Good. Now, let's do some cancelling. Okay, let's have uh, Mr. Mushab help me with cancelling, please. So first of all, we can look look over here with my We can divide this by 10 and then divide this by? 10. First of all, as a, as a first nice easy option. 25 and 100 now. 25. 25 and 100, what would should we divide them both by? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah. 25 divided by 25 is? 1. One. 100 divided by 25 is? 4. Oh. Okay, you need to have good mental math, folks. Okay, so now, can we cancel anything more over here, Bilal? No. no it's all cancelled and down to 1. That's it. So what do we have left now, Bilal? We have on the top, we have, what do we have over here? 11 times by 4. 11 times by 4. On the bottom, what do we have over here? It's my we have here, look. 1, look, okay, so 1 times by 1. Now that's a really hard question. One time by one. <laughs> I don't want you folks to rush it. No, get the calculator and the computer there. What's one time by one? One. One. I was waiting for something to say two. Because that's a common answer. <laughs> so eleven times by four will give us? Um forty-four. So one time by one is one. And forty-four <laughs> divided by one will give us a total answer of? Forty-four percent. Oh, okay, that uh, so okay. I know that, that took a bit of time, didn't it? Yeah. But, uh, but that's what's required. So 44% is the answer that goes there, and that's why. So those of you doing it for the first time, you need to go home, you need to study this video. Study the video, 
do it again and then put it away and then try questions, okay? Next, what is the total running time of the whole DVD in hours expressed as a mixed fraction? Now, if you look over here, we have 250 minutes in the total running time, is that right? Yeah. Now, 250 minutes, if you want to change that into hours and minutes, what do we divide it by? Divide it by? 60. 60. Just change it back to hours now. How many 60 minutes are there in 250? And the answer is 4. Because four. 4 times by 60 is 240. And then there's 10. And actually, if we cheat a bit, we can even steal the answer from up here. But never mind. No one cheats. So 4 hours. And we have how many minutes left over? Yeah. Out of how many minutes? 60. 60. So if we cancel that down by dividing by 10, that will give us a final, final answer of? One Four and one sixth six of the hour. So I'm gonna make sure you copy all of this down and all of this down. Yeah, all of it. Don't miss in the end. Okay. Now, out of five marks, there, can you work out how many? Don't shout out your answers now, please. So I'll pause the video in a second. So four and one sixth. That's the end of question number one. There's a lot of thinking and working out in this question.